always wearing a Metallica shirt in like every review lately or is it just me? Hey guys, so I have a bunch of reviews to catch up on today so in the next three or so videos I will be wearing and looking the exact same. So yeah, don't mind that. I figured you guys don't really care as much. Um, so anyway, we're gonna talk about a few things today. Well, for you, it'll be just this one, but I'm gonna be talking about a few things today that I'm really excited about. Firstly, we are talking about ginger snaps. As I said, this would be the next review uh, because I fixed, the, well, I didn't fix the list. I um, switched the list and decided to watch ginger snaps instead of trick or treat. I told you I would do that, didn't I? So you can't be mad at me. I warned you, I jump around. Um, but my next review, movie wise, will definitely be trick or treat. So just watch that for the next one. However, I will be doing, as I said, um, I will be doing American Horror Story Coven uh, overviews, I guess, uh, basically little short reviews every week. So this week will be the first one and I hopefully can get that one up tomorrow. So, because I'll be filming it today as well. So um, yeah, my next review, actually my next review, just throwing it in there, is Ginger Snaps 2. So watch that one um, within three days, I'd say. You got three days to watch that one um, before I will review it. I'll try and have a set schedule um, of the list down below and we'll, from here on out, I'll try to stay in order. But just to reiterate, next review will be American Horror Story, then Ginger Snaps 2, then Trick or Treat. So those are the three things I will be talking about in my next three videos. But today we are talking about Ginger Snaps, the first one. And a lot of people have always recommended this movie to me and I totally get why now. Oh my goodness. Um, I At first I was like, what is so great about this movie? Everybody talks about it. Um, and I didn't know what it was. I knew it involved like two sisters and that's about it. Uh, I didn't even know it was a werewolf movie. So it is a werewolf movie and this was made, gosh, I don't remember the year, 2000? I think it was in 2000. So it still kind of had a 90s air to it and um, oh my gosh guys, I'm so inspired fashion-wise by all the looks in that movie. It's crazy. I kind of want to make just like a ginger, ginger snap. I'm talking so fast, I'm so excited. I just want to make like a ginger snaps um, lookbook on my fashion channel just inspired outfits from that movie because I loved everything about it. The style of those two girls and um, everything. Awesome. So getting started with the review. Uh, I'm just going to be bold and say that this is one of my favorite movies of all time and uh, I had only, I've just seen it. So as of now, it's one of my favorites. Definitely my favorite werewolf movie that I've seen. I'm actually not a fan of modernized vampires or modernized werewolves. Uh, I'm not part of that whole like teen wolf thing, uh, uh, Twilight. I don't like any of those. I love classics, Nosferatu, Interview with a Vampire, um, things like that I love because that is a legit vampire. Well, Interview with a Vampire was coming to modernize, but even still, like, you know, the classics, Dracula, all that. I read the book. I love it. So, um, those kind of creatures I love. I hate how Hollywood has kind of turned it into this sexy, hot vampire wolf thing. <laughs> um, I don't like any of that. So I was a little bit, bit skeptical when I found out it was a werewolf movie, um, because I typically don't like those. However, they did not use CG in this. Um, at all, if I can remember. If so, it was not noticeable at all. Um, as far as the wolf goes, they used actual props, uh, not CG. So I really enjoyed that aspect. It made it feel very real. And because it was in the uh, turn of the century, it had better technology. So it wasn't, you know, like back in the 80s, but it wasn't as modern as today. But I still liked it. I liked the uh, special effects and everything that they had. Even the gore was done really well. So that whole thing was great. The acting was phenomenal. I loved it. Um, I could really relate to the two girls, the two sisters in the movie, and I think that's really important to relate to the characters. I've said it before, being able to find something in a character that you can relate to brings you into the movie more. So I think that's why I was so intrigued by them because I was kind of like that in high school. <laughs> I'm still obsessed with darkness and death, um, you know, as a metalhead in high school and would wear all black 
And so I was kind of similar to them in a way. I wasn't as extreme as them by any means. I still went to bed at like 8 p.m. because I was, you know, a good girl. But um, I still was kind of like them. So I really liked their, their characters. It felt very real to me, their characters. And the way it was acted felt very real to me as well. So that was one of my favorite aspects is that they were the weird girls and the strange ones because that's who I was in high school so I could totally relate. As far as plot goes, I really liked it. Um, it's very traditional in the werewolf, you know, standpoint as far as getting bit by a werewolf and then transforming yourself. However, it was a little bit different because the transformation was so gradual. So the two girls, Ginger and Bridget, are the two sisters. Ginger's the older one. Uh, she's 16 and then Bridget is 15. And they um, are like fearful of their period and I don't know why. I don't know if I would, just wasn't paying attention. But um, yeah, so Brit or uh, Ginger gets her period after she's bit by a werewolf. So basically they're coming home and uh, it's like dark in a forest and she gets attacked by a werewolf and then Bridget uh, saves her and like brings her home but then they realize her cuts are healing by themselves really rapidly and so that's one of the features of becoming a werewolf is your wounds heal really quickly so that's something that started to occur she started to get this urge and at first she thought it was sexual so she would want to have sex and uh, then she realized it was like this carnage, this, you know, inner urge to eat meat and to kill people. So I really liked that. Um, and I should say this is also a Canadian movie. I didn't know that until after and like I saw a license plate. Um, well, in the credits I saw it was Canadian. In the second one I saw a license plate. And um, no, it was, there was a license plate in the first one as well. And so that kind of took me back because I was... I love Canadian accents, I didn't really catch on at first until I saw that. I was like, oh my god, they totally were Canadian because I love Canadian accents. Um, so yeah, that was totally random <laughs> to point out, but it was a Canadian movie. I, I liked that it was Canadian and not American. So anyway, Bridget tries to find a cure with like their local drug dealer. She's like working with him to find something and he helps her research and she finds out these like craft flowers, like monk's wood or something like that, is basically like wolfbane, wolfsbane, wolfsbane, I don't know, uh, that prevents the wolfness. And so she uses it on somebody else, long story, I'm not gonna really go into it, it's not like huge, but she realizes that it works. And so her sister begins to turn a lot faster. She's transforming really quickly now. Her face is deforming. Uh, luckily it's around Halloween time which is why I picked this movie for Halloween Horror Month because the climax of this movie takes place on Halloween night so I thought it was related uh, so that's why I picked it. So she realizes it works uh, however um, her sister is becoming out of control and it's just getting harder and harder for them to pin her enough to inject her with this monk's wood. So I am going to talk about the ending and it's kind of a spoiler if you don't want to know what happens then I would just turn it off now but let me just say that if you haven't seen it you need to see this movie it was unbelievable I loved it especially if you were the freak in high school or you love werewolves or you love 90s clothes any of those things you'll love this movie so they end up back at her house um, with Ginger and Bridget and then the drug dealer guy and they uh, are gonna try and save her but she has fully transformed now at this point she is a full-on werewolf no uh, cognition or no um she's not conscious of the people around her she has no idea that that's her sister um so she is just full-on beast <laughs> um so they you know know it works but they have to get her enough to like inject her with things well bridget cuts her hand and she shares blood with her sister to try and calm her down and say look I am you now, we are together in this, we are both werewolves now, please can you just listen to me and you know tries to calm her down by doing that. In turn injecting herself with wolf blood meaning she will eventually become a wolf but because she knows monk's wood works then you know she did, did it anyway because she knows that it reverses the process kind of. So in the end what happens is um, her sister is just out of control and there's no way that they can, you know, 
sedate her, I guess. So she ends up in this like fight with this beast and she ends up having to kill her sister to survive, but otherwise she'll kill her. Um, Ginger would kill her and she's like, there's nothing left of her. My sister's not there anymore, so I have to kill her. And that moment was really beautiful, I thought. And the cinematography of that scene was just breathtaking. I don't know, it was in their room, which was in the basement, and it had their two rooms, I'm sorry, their two beds with their lights on, and they were just kind of like in the middle, and she was laying on top of Ginger as she took her last breaths. And I just loved that scene. I thought it was so beautiful, so... I, re I thought that was really well done, so I really liked that. Ultimately, this movie gets an A if I'm gonna rate it like I used to. Definitely an amazing, amazing movie. Um, I am gonna be talking about the second one separately, and then I'll be talking about the third one as well, because as soon as I finished that one, I went to go get the second and third one because I have to know what happens to Bridget. So I've already seen the second one, but I'm not gonna talk about any of it. In this video, I will do a separate review on that, but definitely watch this movie. The trailer, let me just say, does not do it any justice at all, so if you watch the trailer and you're like, eh, I don't know, please just give it a try. It is amazing and um, not really directly Halloween related, but I had to pick it for this month because it wouldn't, I don't know where else it would really fit. So uh, yeah, let me know if you've seen this movie, what your thoughts are, because I know I gave you guys homework to watch it by this time, so. Make sure to leave me um, a comment let, letting me know what you thought about this movie when you watched it or if you've seen it before, you know, what you think of it. So I hope you enjoy and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.